What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. So today we're going to talk about some file management, uh, a file management script that I've used in the past uh, to search for various things over a large file share. So we have a couple variables here we'll define. So this is going to be my file path that I'm going to search. I'm going to search for MP3 files in this case, but you could obviously change that to PST files or AVI files or whatever file type you want to look for. I'm going to capture some information and I'm going to output it to this CSV file in C scripts. And then this is just the date that you run the, run the script. So we're going to use the get child item commandlet. Search, our path is going to be our search directory. We're going to do recursive. So it's going to look in that C files and anything below it, any child folders. We're going to filter out only the MP3 files. Uh, we're also going to turn off error action. So it's going to continue if there's a file that's in use that we can't get the information from or whatever the case may be. It's just going to keep running the script. So down here we're going to select the full name of the item. This piece here is just we're selecting the length of the item which is the file size. It's in kilobytes so we're going to divide that by one megabyte. We're going to rename the column header from length to megabytes or you could you know change it to whatever you want to change it to and this is just how we're going to format it to two decimal places so we're also going to select the creation time the last access time and then we're going to sort all of our results by megabytes in descending order so largest file at the top once we do that this is where we're going to create that log file csv file and then this last portion here is just starting Excel and opening up that log file. Uh, totally optional piece. You could comment this out if you wanted to comment it out. All right, so my here is my C files. I have a couple MP3 files and the rest of the text files, so we'll see what we get back when we run this thing. Okay, so we open up Excel, and here's what we got. We got those two mp3 files gives us the full path name uh, and some information so there's a couple uses I found for this uh, if you want to periodically check your file share your NAS or your SAN or whatever uh, file share or file repository type that you have you can run this every once in a while to see if users are putting large files that maybe you have policies against those those being on the file share you know, this is a good way to uh, check that stuff. So as it's configured now, it's uh, it's going to overwrite this uh, log file. I don't want to save this every time you run the script. So if you come down here and export CSV, you want to append. Let's run this again. Yes, I want to save. So now you can see it saves every iteration separately. So if you run, the, run this on a weekly basis or whatever, you could keep a running total of uh, what's going on. So once you have this information, say I wanted to quickly clean out um, all the AVI files on my file share, I could search for those files using this script. Um, I could then import this to remove item commandlet and delete all those in a really uh, efficient manner. So a little bit of file management, pretty simple uh, script. As always, you can get the code on signalmore.com, use it and abuse it however you see fit. And I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and watching the video. I do appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting the subscribe button. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down too. I'm cool with that too. Uh, if you have a question or video request, you can contact me on the social media links below. And again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.